Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome back to my let's play of Orbital Bullet. Off stream, I did a few farming runs to obtain more nanobytes, which I used to unlock slash upgrade, medi backpack charges, healing pillars, extended merchant supply, rare weapon chests, overcharged skills, and combo extender. Afterwards, I upgraded my minimum weapon level to 2. Along the way, I also acquired the Turn in Final Eternity Shard, which unlocks a new mode. I'll get more into that in the future. Right now, it's time to start a new run with the NG. I'll be aiming for an energy focused build. Let's see if it pans out. Hopefully with these 6 new skills, I'll be able to make it further. Perhaps even reaching the final planet. I'll start out with a Plasma Burster. That or a laser SMG will work wonders for me. Another nice thing about the turrets is that they can attack multiple rings at once. Wait, what's down there? I see a blue sparkly ting. An overcharge fragment. That's definitely worth it. I'm not going to visit all the areas in the earlier areas. That's because I want the time chess. Ah sure, just in case. Wait, 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 I saw the overcharge fragment. I need to collect all three of them. That's the new enemy type I haven't seen before. I've never been able to no damage this up until this point. I 
don't have to stun, sadly. I do want to try one of them. Not the best, but I suppose it works. Oh, that's cool. Hang on a moment. We got it. Definitely worth it. Wow. Look at the range of this thing. And here I thought it'd be short range or something. One of the many healing pillars I've unlocked. What can we overcharge? We'll get back to it in a moment. Ah, perfect it. I sure hope we didn't lose the overcharge by accident. It's always so fun to lob shots like this. This may not have the highest DPS, but when it works, it works really well.
I get it. For the highest chances of getting the overcharge fragments, I need to visit these rifts. Anyways, it's boss time. Doing pretty well, I'd say. I'm at full health, and I reached this guy. This attack is still a large pain to dodge. My performance at this boss, not the best. Compared to its counterpart, this is far tougher. I'd rather deal with missiles than the rocks and whatever that attack is. Yes please, this is awesome. Hey Jaden, welcome. Chain lightning is similar to how my turret works, but even better because my main projectile deals more damage. And the crazy thing is, it even works across rings. I'd love to have the shotgun if I was playing as a marauder. By this point, I'm gonna ignore the time chest because I'll have better luck in the rifts. Heavy machine gun, and it's a shell type weapon. Interesting, but you know, energy type. Hopefully I don't come across an enemy who resists energy. That could be really bad.
Uh, music dying is kind of a consistent bug here. And only for card, by the way. And that's how I upgraded my Plasma Burster to Epic Tier. Oh yeah, the chain lightning also applies to the turret, if you thought the turret wasn't already strong enough. Hmm, what's in this elevator? Yet again, better for the Helion. For best results with this build, I think I should focus more on experience over equipment. Lifesteal as well. In terms of synergies, this is my best run yet. That leads to the boss. Ah oh, sure, we're all set. We just wrecked the Butcher. They only got one hit in, and that was my fault anyways. Also, I really should swap to another weapon, because both of them are using the same ammo types. So if one runs out, the other will run out as well.
Thank you. Hang on, what's in here? Loads of money. Hey folks, were you able to defeat Pepsi Man? Legendary gear. Oh boy, Robo Wolves. As much as I like that weapon, I need some better insurance. And thank you everyone for being epic gamers. Scrapyard shelter. A lot more damage, but I don't have the chain lightning effect. Oh man, I really want this, but I can't afford it. Shame. So I'll save the heavy machine gun for single target damage. Good job for finishing it. That game is hard if you don't know what you're doing. It took me about 3 attempts to defeat Epic Pepsi. The question is, will I be able to defeat the boss?
Hmm. Just for fun, let's see what happens. Oh. Interesting, but too risky. As a reminder, health is really precious in these sorts of games. That's why stuff like lifesteal is so powerful. You know what time it is. During the last stream, I died to this boss. But this time, I'm at max health with 3 health infusions. One more. It's over. With the correct understanding of the boss, they're not too bad, even without my crazy synergy. Dreadcore Space Station, we made it to the final stage. Get ready for the strongest enemy types here. Just for insurance. It's not quite over yet. This game has some more tricks up its sleeves. Mm -hmm. 
After all, Dreadcorp has some backups. They're not dumb. Oh wow, the chain is so powerful, it's kind of lagging the game now. Not so much of a secret room here. I never expected the engineer's turret to be this powerful. I knew it could attack both rings at once, but this takes it to a whole new level. To the bridge. Too slow. The stage is also becoming far more enemy dense. It's getting difficult to track everything that's going on here.
No, I'm not entering the boss floor yet. Okay, this was the final floor. With my current skill tree, I can attack almost every enemy on screen at the same time, as long as I use an energy weapon. Time to battle the final boss. The Monarch. I have to attack the orbs. First phase down, Mastermind. It's the blades. If I don't get off fast enough, I'll take damage. Oh, I didn't actually take damage there. That's good. Oh, I get it now. One more cycle should do the trick. I didn't actually jump off, I just dodge rolled in time. Precisely, Jaden. This is basically what Mega Man 2.5D should have been in the first place. Mastermind, you've been destroyed.
smart rifle. Look at the face. Hmm. Self-destruct sequence initiating. Shame we're gonna lose all the gears and skills we obtained up to this point. You barely escape to your dropship before the reactor explodes. The destruction of the high ship spells the ultimate end of Dreadcorp. Never mind, we make it out alive. I thought we we're gonna sacrifice this body too. The single greatest threat humanity has ever faced is gone. Finally, the colonies of mankind can start rebuilding and recovering. The end. And this marks the end of the main playthrough of Orbital Bullet. Gosh, the build I had for this run was pretty insane. Engineer plus turret plus energy weapons plus energy arcing. It tears apart pretty much every foe. I couldn't find any enemy who resisted it. If I hadn't had this synergy, I don't think I would have made it to the final boss. All in all, this was my best run yet, and it only took about 16 to 17 runs to get here. The only parts of the run which posed the greatest challenge to me were the beginning, the overseer, the admiral, and the final boss. So now we unlock the next tier of gear. More base damage, more ammo for everything, combo shield, double weapon chests, even more health, more shields, cooldown recovery, healing floors, luxury merchant 2, even more new goods, valuable crates, lucky fellow, weapon recycling, recycling 2, and more startup capital. And once I unlock 15 more skills, I'll get the final set. Still there's more to do in this game. For instance, collecting more blueprints, defeating the other boss, playing with the overcharge settings, and of course, the Eternity Tower. The overcharge system is how to make the game even harder. We just beat it at base level. If I truly want to beat the game, I need to beat it at level 10. So next time, I'll play through the game again with the Marauder. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.